Hey man, I think um, you might be misunderstanding what I meant by God. Um, I certainly don't mean the traditional Christian concept of God as a personal or um, a human-like being that lives in heaven and passes judgment on human beings and forces us to obey certain rules in order to gain entrance to heaven. Um, I'm not talking about that kind of God. The God I'm talking about is, you know, maybe we can't, shouldn't even use the word God. I just use it because um, I think a lot of atheists are against this idea as well, um, which is God just as, as mystery. God as the other, the unknown. God as that which is, uh, that which encompasses the horizon of your own awareness. So it's that which is beyond your ability to perceive, but that you know exists. So in that sense, faith in this kind of God would be faith in the unknown. Uh, trust that you, your existence, your knowledge, is not all that there is. That there is something larger and more all-pervasive. That... Uh, is basically not in control of your life, but has a, a larger say in uh, what happens to you than you do, just because it's it's more expansive than you are, and it um, it runs deeper in the universe than your own individual subjectivity. So that's the kind of God I'm talking about that I think needs to exist for human life to be, um, to make sense. Because if we get rid of that, it seems that, uh, we're assuming that we have control over what happens to us, and that we could have perfect knowledge. And that kind of a universe doesn't make sense to me. I don't under understand how life would gain its meaning if um, I were in control of it, and I dictated what happened and what didn't happen, and uh, I knew all the tricks that led to this existence happening, if I knew everything that was going on behind the scenes, um, there's no point in being alive anymore. So I think, uh, hopefully... You understand what I, where I was coming from now. Um, if not, let me know. Thanks for listening, man. Take it easy.